the world's first compact scooter to feature an independent swing arm derived from the motorbike architecture, offers unrivaled sport riding capability. Is this the one that can dominate other scooters in market? Welcome to Motoscope. A global leader in scooter manufacturing and design, has elevated its image in terms of quality and engineering for the past 15 years. In fact, their reputation and technical capability earn them technical partnerships from both German BMW and Japanese Kawasaki brands to produce engines and even complete scooters to be sold under the brand BMW or Kawasaki. Kinko is proud to launch the KRV 180 scooter. The new scooter is packed with features that were once exclusive to big bikes and maxi scooters, bringing it to a more accessible segment. As the name indicates, the KRV 180 packs a 175.1 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled SOHC engine that produces about 17 PS of power and 16 Newton meters of torque. This is by far the most powerful scooter in the under 200 cubic centimeters category. With many of its competitors opting for 150 to 160 cubic centimeters engines, the KRV offers significantly more displacement with up to 15 cubic centimeters more than its closest competitors. Compared to the Aerox or the NMAX that have a mound in the middle, Kimco opted to go with the traditional flat floor, step-through design to give the rider more legroom. The center mound is usually where maxi scooters keep the fuel tank. Having a flat floor doesn't mean that the KRV is short on fuel tank capacity. Despite that, the KRV compares favorably to the other scooters in its class. It comes with a fuel tank capacity of 7.2 liters, which could translate to less visits to the gas station. Not too long ago, ABS was kind of a novelty for motorcycles or scooters under 200 cubic centimeters. Now, ABS is starting to become a standard feature for these entry-level maxi scooters. Traction Control System TCS, which is normally one of the features reserved for bigger and more expensive motorcycles and scooters, is a standard feature on the new KRV 180. For those who are new to the technology, TCS works by cutting off engine power when the onboard computer senses rear wheel spin, preventing the loss of traction that might lead to an accident. The computer is always measuring the traction level and adjusts the throttle delivered to the rear wheel as needed. The KRV 180 is available at an introductory price of 189,900 pesos. Are you planning to buy this motorcycle unit? Let me know in the comment box below. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.